Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft Edge has also received our weekly security updates that at first started rolling out for Google Chrome. Vivaldi also received the same, Brave, and now it's Edge's turn. And this is the first point release update that has rolled out for Edge since version 120, which is the latest release, rolled out a week or so ago. Now, as always, uh, because we are dealing with a couple of security issues, um, we just double check quickly that our browsers are up to date by heading to the main menu about Microsoft Edge. And version and build after the update has been applied 120.0.2210.77. And that point release has been bumped up from point 61. Now, first of all, um, we have an edge-specific, one edge-specific browser security fix that is rolled out, which um, is a security feature bypass vulnerability. So if that's for the actual edge browser. And then over and above that edge-specific security fix, we also get nine security fixes that are rolling out for the open source chromium project which the browser is based on and just to do a quick recap because i have been talking about these um, over the course of the last week uh, we get nine security fixes in total five high risk and those high risk vulnerabilities include one type confusion in v8 that's the v8 javascript engine and also four use after free which means um Basically, a quick summary of use after free is when a hacker and an attacker can use the memory that is freed up um, when you close your browser, as an example, to gain access to your system. That's just a brief overview of what that's all about. And high risk, as mentioned previously, is your second highest ranked vulnerability after a critical. So nonetheless, an important security update ro rolling out for the Chrome Chromium engine, which the browser is based on. Now, even above that, um, we also get a couple of bug and performance fixes that have rolled out. Um, that's quite common. Microsoft does push out bug fixes and performance fixes basically with almost every point release update, which is normal between major version upgrades. So if you have experienced any issues, double check this update has been installed, which by the way, rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 14th of December. Now, over and above that, um, we actually get one new feature and one change that's also been made available with this point release update that I have noticed. And this is quite common. There are little tweaks and adjustments that are made available. And as I mentioned uh, in a previous video, Microsoft has deprecated the web capture screen capture tool that was previously available in Edge for Desktop. And I see now that they have finally pushed out the new screenshot tool which is now located in the bottom right of, of the uh, sidebar by default. And if we um, click on that, as the name implies, it's a new uh, screen capture tool. And you can just obviously capture any part of your screen or a web page. And then underneath that, you've got a couple of options. You can include a square, circle, arrow. You can draw, mosaic, text. You get the idea. You can undo, share, save cancel and done so and um, that's rolling out now and it also includes a toolbar quick shortcut button and and by the way if you click on customize here at the bottom um it takes you directly over to uh, the shortcut customer shortcuts for microsoft edge where you can actually customize that shortcut to open up the screenshot tool if you're using your keyboard from control shift and s to something else um of your choice obviously and if we head over to the appearance page, you'll notice if we head down to the uh, the toolbar buttons, here we get the screenshot button. So if you want to see it in your toolbar as a quick shortcut button, you can toggle this on. And if you don't, you can just toggle that off and it will remove that from the browser. So that's the new feature. And then over and above that, as mentioned, we also get a change. Now a feature that did roll out previously that has now been changed slightly is the new tab menu. And the new tab menu originally was located here next to the new tab button. And I see now that it's moved to the right. So it's moved from left to right. And this is very similar to Chrome's search tabs. But if we click on that upside down chevron, as I've mentioned previously, um, we can create a new tab group. We can view our open history, recently closed and frequently visited sites. So very similar to Chrome's search tabs. And I'll leave 
um, the video I did post on this feature, which gives you a bit more of, of in-depth info. I'll leave that down below for the new tab menu. So that's been moved from left to right. So it's exactly the same feature, just a small change when it comes to its location. And something else I've noticed, though, if we head to the customized toolbar options um, on the appearance page, is show new tab menu. Unfortunately, at this stage, it's not turning it off. This toggle is not working. So that could be a bug or something that Microsoft is not telling us. So show new tab menu, that is not turning the feature off, which it should. So uh, if that is a bug, hopefully that will be sorted out sooner than later. So as mentioned, quite a lot going on with this point release update, security fixes, and a new feature and a change. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And thanks for watching.